Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, of course we've got to talk a little bit about 20H1. We're going to answer a few questions that have to do with the version of Windows that will be released next year. 20H1 is really the April 2020 update basically. So we are far ahead here with 20H1. So 20H1 is a version of Windows that started rolling out to insiders that are on skip ahead and um, of course I am one of those skip ahead users. Last version that we had was 18.8.4.5 released yesterday. Um, so the question that people ask is you know what new features we know are going to be in 20H1. We don't know a lot of them but um, there's going to be some new features for sure that um, maybe didn't make it yet like sets is a possibility could be before that but we're you know a lot of people are wondering what happened to sets why is it that we don't see it right now but I think it will come back at some point uh, maybe in 20 H1 uh, some of you of course have said uh, why such a advanced version you know why having something so far ahead when in reality we're going to be testing 19 H2 for this fall isn't that too much at the same time well, what we understand is that this doesn't change anything because they already do that. It seems that Microsoft internally, even when they were working on a version of Windows for insiders, there was part of the team was already working on what would be the next version after that. So the only difference here is that they've decided that skip ahead instead of being that uh, insider thing that you know turns on and off um, depending on where we are in the cycle of release is going to be something that has a more advanced feature update and part of the things that they hope is that maybe they could see in advance more problems from uh, a version of Windows that will be later so that's a possibility uh, we also uh, understand that what we learned this week is that 20H1 has been released for skip ahead insiders way ahead because this will actually connect to Azure Directory, the cloud system from Microsoft. And um, I'm not, we're not sure exactly how and what they are going to do with this. But also, they, uh, that, that means that this version would be the first version to actually access Azure Cloud Services rather you know, than the uh, 19H1, H2, which will not, will just be regular standard versions of Windows. Um, so there's very little known. Um, the, we had three skip aheads, I believe, three or four. They all had pretty much nothing. The feature with there was had it at 18.845 was um, the emojis that were updated. But pretty much we have no idea of what's happening. Uh, you know, there are a lot of guys out there that are actually looking at the code and trying to find and pinpoint maybe new stuff in here none have reported anything new that they could find by looking at the code so that means we're really not you know uh, we don't know what's uh, exactly going to happen with this uh, uh, version yet but it is something that will happen next year so we are testing it and if you're interested in knowing a little more and seeing some of the features maybe much more in advance you can go to my Windows Insider channel that's the only place I will talk about skip aheads by the way I will not, uh, you know, I, I post the fast ring reviews both here and on uh, Insiders because I um, have a certain number of people that kind of enjoy watching some of the features coming up. But the skip ahead being a much, you know, it, it's far, far away. It's a year from now. Um, I'll keep that on the Insider channel until it becomes a regular fast ring uh, at some point, maybe. So um, not a lot is known. And... Um, We'll see what actually happens with this version as time goes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.